the next type of relationship is called as many to many relationship it is many to many relationship relationship okay so what is many to many relationship is that uh, the or you can say uh, many to many relationship is generally represented by m ratio n and here let me do one thing let me take an example of many to many relationship and let me explain it to you with that particular example assuming that the example is like they like this every employee is supposed to work is supposed to work on at least one project on at least one project and employee can work on many project and employee can work on many projects on many projects okay in the same in the same way similarly similarly and project and project can have can have many employees and every project every project is supposed to have is supposed to have at least one employee at least one employee okay so you can represent it with this relation diagram so this is representing the employee this is representing the relation which is works on and this is representing the relation which is project so this is representing employee this is works on and this is the project so we may be having some employees like employee a1 employee a2 employee a3 employee a4 employee a5 a6 a7 a8 and a9 in the same way we are having some projects project p1 project p2 project p3 project p4 project p5 project p6 and project p7 these are the projects which we have now they're saying every employee is supposed to work on at least one project at least one project an employee can work on many projects an employee can work on many projects in the same way a project can have many employees and every project to have suppose sup, uh, no supposed to have at least one employee at least one employee so you can clearly see what is happening here at least and many at least and many so you can imagine it like this every employee is supposed to work on at least one project right for example employee even is working on the project employee even is working on the project p1 right an employee can work on many project assuming that employee a1 can also working on project p3 employee a2 working on the project p1 employee e3 is working on the project p2 employee e4 working on the project p3 employee e5 working on the project p1 employee e6 working on the project p4 employee e7 working on the project p7 employee e8 working on the project p4 and employee e9 working on the project p7 as you meet like this okay why i am drawing like this because of the requirement analysis or requirement statements which we got there is every employee is supposed to work on at least one project so you can see every employee is working on at least one project and an employee can work on many projects like you can see employee e1 is working on more than one projects make it uh, make it like this we have employee e uh, e5 is also working on the project p4 right so uh, e5 e5 and the employee e1 they are working on more than one projects 
and similarly a project can have many employees like project p1 project p2 project p4 project p7 they are having many employees and every project is supposed to have at least one employee every project is supposed to have at least one employee that means if there are some projects like we have project p6 p5 this they should have at least one employee assuming that em- employee e4 is working on the project p5 and employee uh, e6 is working on the project p6 so you can see every project is supposed to have at least one employee at least one employee okay now you can give me give the cardinality ratio and the participation representation what is the cardinality of employee that means what is the maximum number of relationship and it can participate the employee can participate in more than one relationships so therefore it, it is n and what is the participation of employee that means an employee should work on at least one project so it is one so because every employee is supposed to work on at least one project in the same way if we ask what is the cardinality of project cardinality is what is the maximum number of relationship and entity can participate here it is many and what is the participation of project participation is one and the degree of this relationship works for is degree is two okay now you can give all the three representation that there is min max representation single line double line representation and the participation or against the cardinality ratio representation so let me draw it in the same page here so this is representing an employee this is the project again an employee a project an employee and the project and uh, this is representing the relation okay so we have this is the employee this is the project employee project employee project and this relationship is works on works on works on okay so what is the cardinality of employee it is n and what is the participation of employee it is 1 what is the cardinality of project it is m and what is the participation is 1 so the first representation is the cardinality ratio representation cardinality ratio representation that means we are going to write this thing here and we are going to write this thing here so you can see this becomes n ratio m n ratio m or you can say it is many to many relationship now next is the single line double line representation single line double line so what is the participation of employee it is one and what is the participation of project it is one because the participation is one in both the sides therefore both the sides are in total participating condition both the sides are in total participation and the last one is the min max representation min max representation and min max representation what is the minimum cardinality of employee that is one and what is the maximum cardinality of employee that is n what is the minimum cardinality of project that is 1 and what is the maximum cardinality that is m right so this is representing the many to many relationship many to many relationship okay